Welcome back to round three of the Ultimate Karting Championship, where next out on track, it's the turn of the X30 Juniors. As with many of the classes here this weekend, it is going to be a close sport battle. So without further ado, let's go and join your race commentators, Jake Sanson and Alan Taddei. So Junior X30 always provides drama, and with this grid, today's not going to be an exception. Luke Watts and Harry Burgoyne Jr. from Kanato Lee and Charlie Rippin. Daryl Taylor and James Walker from Jess Edgar and Rashan Chikarimbo. Then Louis Johnston Cool and Lorenzo Cordell. That's just the top 10. There's plenty of drivers in behind who can make a real race of this. And you can see already there's a little bit of impatience, a little bit of nudging as they come off the final turn. And down the straight, let's race the three sisters. So into the first corner, this is going to be a tough one. Canato Lee drifting a little bit as Luke Watts just about holds the inside line for the first corner. And we're right in the middle of the squabble as we dive up the hill once again. And this is a very clean start for Junior X30. It has to be said, they've had some moments in the past, but these guys are ready to race. And they want to get it done nice and early doors. Jess Edgar running there in the top six. Once again, looking very strong as she tries to get past Daryl Taylor. And Taylor's running a very solid race here. This is a 2020 season. He really wants to make his own. He's had hardship all the way through this year, which started all the way back in Dubai in January when he had a clear win on his shoulders. A mechanical failure took it away from him. Here's the move, though. He dives on the inside of Canato Lee, and Jess Edgar goes with him and actually nails him. Brilliant move from Jess Edgar. Oh, that's opportunistic as you like, and she's into third position. So many people are talking about Jess Edgar these days. You're running out of superlatives. And when you watch a lot of young women coming through the ranks of karting, she is definitely a name to watch for. She's already got uh, a lot of people giving her plenty of attention. She's going to be involved, I do believe, in the FIA Women in Motorsport Commission's Girls on Track event later on this year in France. And that, of course, is to bid for a place in the Ferrari Academy. So this is a woman with plenty of expectation on her shoulders, but to come with it, plenty of speed. And she knows this place very well indeed, has had many victorious days here. Jess Edgar bags the fastest lap as she closes in on Burgoyne. He's another driver who's come straight up from the cadet ranks. He actually missed out Mini X30 altogether, Harry Burgoyne. They jumped straight into Junior X30, which is a big leap, it has to be said. But he's come into it very, very aggressively, has not backed down in terms of his development. He's gone straight in with it. I love this new use of the tighter hairpin section after the... Uh, old main straight because it used to be just that swing through the chicane but that actually slows the carts down a little bit that move through the wider section and it's definitely a great layout to use here with three sisters it's a subtle change in chicane but it makes all the difference Burgoyne on the inside Edgar looks like she's going to go through as well and she gets in a second place at the expense of Luke Watts so Burgoyne leads Edgar second Watts third is Edgar going to make the move nice and early well it's a big risk to make the move into that S's so she's backed out of it, but now if she gets a good travel out of the turn, she will go for the lead, which she does. Is there enough space? Yes, there is. Lovely move, and Jessica Edgar takes the lead here at Three Sisters. And once she gets into the lead of a race on this track, it's very hard to overtake her. She knows this place very well these days. She is certainly one to watch. We've seen a crop of young ladies, haven't we, in the recent uh, history, Jake. And we put his gun on to do uh, particularly well in cars in F4 now I think but uh, Jess could be going that way as well it's interesting that the family are carting through and through yet Johnny's gone into cars although funded by uh, Mr Red Bull himself and will, will Jessica go the same way we'll have to wait and see Luke Watts there in third place Jake I think actually it should be a penalty for Luke Watts and that's a nice move down the inside that's Charlie Ripper on Canato Lee. I think if Luke Watts fails to win this race today, I think the penalty should be Jake. I think his dad should give me his car keys. That's a move for the lead. Harry Burgoyne Jr. Or is it Harry Jr. Burgoyne, Jake? Yeah, I think uh, Luke Watts, there he is in the red suit. His dad's got a very nice Bentley in the paddock, Jake. I think if he doesn't win today, I think, if he, I think his dad should give me the keys. And I, I mean the keys to the car and the car. Well, I've driven one of those before, and uh, it's not a bad motor, I have to say, but this is going to be an interesting one now that uh, Junior Burgoyne, Burgoyne Junior, that debate's going to rumble on forever, isn't it? Leads the race at the moment. Up the inside comes Darrell Taylor. Is there enough space? Not when Watt shuts the door. And that's going to rub. And look how much rubber there is now on the tyre. That tyre is blistering big style on the left front as all sorts of chunks of marbles that have been left there on the side of the road 
uh, clatter onto the surface carcass of the rubber. That's the thing. These tyres get very hot around this circuit. It's a fast-natured track. You're barely off the throttle, so it's a difficult circuit, and therefore the tyres really take their punishment, but you get so much muck and rubbish as Harry Jr. Burgoyne now chasing a victory out in front, bags the new fastest lap, 43-337. Sam Shaw's beaten that now on a 43-2. Burgoyne in second place behind Jess Edgar. Back on board briefly there with Daryl Taylor as the race rumbles on. This is such a tight battle. Edgar out in front. Watts has now got himself back in a second place. And with the fastest lap, no, he's in the lead now. He has got through and managed to get into that position past Burgoyne. Edgar's still right there for third. On the final turn. Back on the power. Up the straight. Who's going to go for the move first, Burgoyne or Edgar? None of them. They're going to stretch out the gap to Charlie Rippin in fourth place. A little bit of a jostle, though, as they come through the hairpin as I think it was initially Watts getting a little bit wide. Burgoyne tried to take advantage. He lost ground. Edgar nudged the back bearing. That's how close it is. When you're this close to each other, you can't afford to wait around. Burgoyne has to defend the move from Edgar. So that wasn't an overtake on Watts. That was just trying to keep Edgar at bay. Such a brilliant circuit, this. I've always said that Three Sisters is one that rewards the smart driver as well as the aggressive one. So this is going to be a great little battle between these three. Possibly four if Rippin can keep charging after them. And in fifth place, we've got Sam Shaw battling away with Daryl Taylor and Rashan Chikarimbo in seventh. Here comes the move from Bergwijn and Edgar. They both dice through on the inside there of Watts. Nothing doing. Good overtake, but it's going to help Charlie Rippin catch them. And he was only six tenths back from the lead as they came through over the line. So now it's a quartet. Never mind a trio. So Rippin right in behind Luke Watts to try and get himself back up the order. On board with Daryl Taylor once more. That's Sam Shaw ahead of us. So as they come through the chicane and up towards the left-hand sequence, this is where we're going to get the long, flowing right-hand hairpin. It goes on for days. It opens out. And you get a very fast exit. You can make the move into the first corner. Taylor looks very hungry in there behind Shaw. Edgar's going to get up the inside of Burgoyne. Can Watts capitalise and keep the door open? Burgoyne tries to keep his foot on the throttle to hold it round the outside, but Watts sweeps up the inside, and now Charlie Rippin really is very close indeed to the former race leader, Harry Jr. Burgoyne, who is right there in third place. And in fifth now, trying to catch the quartet, it is Sam Shaw with Daryl Taylor in tow, Chikarimbo, Lee, and then the 58 next up, that is, of course, Walker. So a great battle continues on their way as they battle away for position. I should say the 98, actually. I apologise. James Walker trying to battle his way up into eighth position with Lorenzo Cordell in front of Moody, Algeri and Stapleford. So they continue on their way. Every driver still circulating. Always a good sign in Junior X30. This is a race that is always very difficult to get to the end of because you've got so many drivers. Very feisty, very confident, and they all want to make those big, bold moves. And it doesn't always work, but we're getting a pure race out here today. No silly moves as far as the leaders are concerned. Watts is trying to make the move. Edgar started defending. Here we go. This is when he's really going to start to make the rafters rock. Taylor in behind Shaw. And that little jostle has brought Shaw and Taylor into the battle. It's now a sextant. Six cards in the battle as they race for victory. Kanato Lee, the Japanese driver in seventh, is probably thinking, well, go on then. Get on with it. I want to join this party too. So as they come off the final turn, it's now or never as they battle away, but there are still a couple of laps at least to go. And Jess Edgar's, whoa, Shaw's come from nowhere. Sam Shaw banzai's through into third position. He's completely mugged Burgoyne and Rippin, and Rippin's now back into the path of Taylor. And there's Canato Lee. Thanks, that's exactly what I needed. Battling away for the lead, Edgar still holding station on Watts, and Sam Shaw now probably feels Christmas has come early. He's in third place with a chance to go for the win. Daryl Taylor still trying to get, get a move on the inside line, and now look who's joined in, Chikarimbo and Walker are there. So nine racing drivers will battle for the victory here at Three Sisters with one lap remaining. Thank you very much indeed, UKC. It's like an early birthday present. Renato Lee tries to sweep around the outside of Taylor. There's not going to be any grip. What a shame. The Japanese looked like he was up for the scrap there. Had a good move lined up. Look at Jess Edgar, perfectly planted in the middle of the circuit. Watts can't go left, he can't go right. And there's Shaw getting back on terms with Burgoyne up the inside. Rippin going to try and get through as well. Watts can't find the space on Edgar. She's planted perfectly. 
So through they come, the final couple of corners. This is going to be about whether a driver's got the elbows out to go for the Banzai move in the final corner. Watts isn't going to be close enough. He needs a good exit to try and get back on terms with Edgar, but she's in the middle of the circuit. It's masterclass from Jess Edgar. She's going to hold this. Jess Edgar wins. Brilliant. That's superb racecraft from your race winner as the field dances across the line together. Watts is second, Shaw third from Burgoyne Jr. and Charlie Rippin, Taylor Lee, Chigarimbo and Walker, Olivia Algieri is 10th and leads home the second battle, but Jess Edgar, what a victory. Brilliant driving. Well, that's what makes junior kart racing just so exciting. Going into that final lap, there was at least half a dozen drivers who could have taken it. And throughout the race, it was all about Harry Burgoyne, Luke Watts and Jessica Edgar. Who was going to take it? And in the finish, the only female driver out there, Jessica Edgar, grabbed the chequered flag. And she was excited when I caught up with her at the podium. Well, Jessica, huge congratulations. Brilliant racing between yourself, Luke Watts and Sam Shaw there. In the finish, though, you took the chequered flag. You must be thrilled. Yeah, it was a good race. We battled at the start and then I kind of got away a little bit and then they kept catching up in the tour and then defended and managed to win the race. Yeah, you really did. And Luke Watts, I think, sort of overtook you two or three times. You kept on taking the place back. And uh, what did it feel like when you crossed the line and you knew you'd done it? I was really happy and proud that I won. Well, huge congratulations. We go to GYG after this. We're going to see you there and hopefully you can do the same again. I hope so, yeah. All right, best of luck, we'll see you there. Thanks so much, Jessica. Thank you. Second place for Luke Watts in that final, more than good enough to give him a commanding championship lead going to the final round over Sam Shaw. It's close, though, between Shaw and Taylor, with Harry Burgoyne Jr. in fourth and Jess Edgar moving herself into the top five. Coming up after the break, it's the class everyone's talking about in this championship. It's the I-Army Super Cadets.